In this question, we're given our data in a frequency distribution, and this is for multiple delivery births uh, and is partitioned into different age brackets. Our question is going to ask about probabilities, and over here we have actual frequencies. So step one for this problem is change this into a relative frequency distribution. This can be done in StatCrunch, so let me show you how to do that. If you click here, and open the data in StatCrunch. Okay, so here we see our table. These are the frequencies, those are the counts put into these different brackets. To change this to a relative frequency distribution, I'm going to go to Graph, Bar Plot, and I'm choosing with summary since our data we're looking at is summarized. Okay. Uh, my categories is going to be the age column, so I'll select the age. Um, these are my counts because those are the frequencies, so I'm going to select number of multiple births there. Here though, I want to change my frequency to relative frequency. I'm doing that because those are probabilities. They're going to be numbers between 0 and 1. And I'm going to order it by, I want it to match what we have over here, and that option is going to be called worksheet. So that's just going to list it in order of what appeared here. That's it, and I can click compute. Okay, and here we have an actual um, picture of the relative frequency distribution. If you hover over each category, it'll tell you the relative frequency, and that's the probability that we're looking for. So for example, uh, between 30 and 34, the relative frequency is approximately 0.381. If you round, actually, it's uh, 0.382. From 30 to 39, uh, this one's going to be 0 0.250 if you round it to three decimal places. So let's at least start this by answering part A. So I'm going to move this off to the side a little bit and see what part A is asking us here. We're going to determine the probability that a randomly selected multiple birth for women 15 to 54 years old involved a mother 30 to 39 years old. So if you look at our table, we're talking about the probability that you fall into this category, but also this one. If we go back to our relative frequency distribution, it's essentially saying take the probability in the 30 to th uh, 34 age bracket and add it to the probability in the 35 to 39 age bracket. So I'm just going to add the relative frequency here to the one that appears here. So I'm going to enter this in on my calculator, and then I'll put the answer into my lab. So to start with, uh, this one is um, 0 0.3815060602. Uh, for mine, this one I'm going to add 0. Point, okay, it's 2. Four nine five six zero six three. So I'm just like listing them all out. On my calculator, I see 0 0.6310. My lab asks to round to three decimal places, so that's going to be 0 0.631. So 0 0.631, and I'll check my answer. Okay. Uh, the question is going to go on parts A through D, and essentially what you can do is use the values that appear in this relative frequency distribution to figure out the remaining parts of this problem. So that's how you can start this example. It's by changing this distribution from a frequency distribution to a relative frequency distribution. And the reason is, is that the values that appear here will be probabilities instead of actual counts.